Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Oh, the Friday special. Friday special. Special. Brought us the news stories in Joe. We are suffering because uh, off air we've had something spicy to eat. <sighs> and it's only started kicking in now. So what's going on? Tip of my tongue is woo, crazy. Like, um, yeah, it's like someone's let off some indoor fireworks in my mouth. Do you have you ever been to when they have indoor fireworks? Huh? Indoor fireworks. I've never seen indoor fireworks. Do you mean a sparkler? No, like a Catherine wheel inside. Never. Yeah. There's nothing. You can get indoor fireworks nah, and it's like. <laughs> just like go off three Where does floor. the pfft go? Air, lounge, kitchen, nana. Dead. <laughs> Gate for the state, mate. Can't move for indoor fireworks in works up. You've had a bad experience with fireworks. You've been like attacked or like one come at you. Um, one come at me. Well, like trying yeah, to. Yeah, like it falls over. And then, no, I've never had a bad experience with fireworks. I like fireworks though. Have you had a bad experience? Uh, my cousin once got attacked by one. It dropped to the floor. Woo! Stop saying attacked by one like it did it by on purpose. Attacked by a firework. Um, hello everyone. Um, yes, once uh, when we were in our in work, as I told you last episode, in, in our cottage, uh, we had all the fireworks lined up on on the hill, and then the it, the, the obviously the land's uneven. So then they started just firing all at people, were like jumping <laughs> behind cars and everything. Do you miss work? Yeah, I, I loved work. I loved it. We just we just uh, weren't going there so much, so we said goodbye to that cottage. But it was great fun. There was no um, electricity. There was just candles. We had a we had like a generator. That was where that cat was that used to just sit there dribbling all day and that and the others. I feel like on the Fridays episode we dig more into Ethan's <coughs> like yeah. sort of. History and childhood. Sounds like an explosive life. place that, with the fireworks and everything going on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just. How did you? Uh, yeah. And this will go on to my story. How did you shower slash bath? Um, I would just use the shower and bath. Where did that water come from? Do you have a boiler? Um. Yeah. Oh, I must have had a boiler. If you if you squeeze your mum tight enough, you don't really get ever get cold, do you? The juices. Oh no! Sorry, <laughs> it's like. Gas, isn't it? Like gas, like you heat it up, don't you? Think. So you did have electricity then? With a stove. No, there was oh, no electricity. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, oh, gonna... and like you used to heat up the room, you used to have like little like stove things in the corner. Nice. Really? Yeah. That's, That's great. Cool, isn't it? Are we good at DIY? Are you good at DIY? I'm not bad at it. I'm probably slightly better than average, but I'm not great. <clears throat> I can right, put well, a... talk to me. What are you saying? Okay, I can put a, a lock on a door. I can. Can you? Yeah, I could retile a small area. I've um, no, taken off shite. taken off a door and, and changed the fittings and screwed the door back on and stuff like that. I could do stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I can't rewire a plug. I think that's I think that's the marker for if you're quite good at that's DIY. If you can rewire a plug, you're well above average. I know someone who could definitely re- re- rewire a plug. His, His name is Ethan James. Um... No, I wouldn't know where to start. I'd, I'm not very good with things like that. I just, I just, I feel like there's a lot of things in life which I just don't get yet. Maybe because I'm too young. Okay. I don't understand what a mortgage really is. I don't understand what an ISA is. Yeah, the mm. Female orgasm. A haircut. No, I'm, Fashion. I'm quite the expert on them things. I think. What haircuts? Yes. Go on. What else? How many female orgasms have you had, Ethan? Um, have I? Um, oh, we well, just had uh, one then. <laughs> <laughs> just had one then by the sound of things. Yeah. Um, we've got our stories this, with us this week. Yeah. Some tremendous stories last week. Well, oh. why I brought the baths up is because this guy is something I want to talk about. Uh, mm-hmm. This is a IT consultant not too far from us in Cheshire called John. And he's recently sold a story to the MEN about him and the way he baths. This gentleman spends £4,000 a year only baffing slash sh- showering with bottled water. He doesn't use tap water. This isn't true. This is true. There he is there. Unfortunately, I'm on the wrong website. I couldn't find it on the MEN. This is him. John Jr., 34, reckons cutting out tap water five months ago improved his health and well-being. He goes on. Oh my God, there's a picture of him in a bath. Sick. He uses the two litre 
big ones from co-op. No, they're the five liters. Five liter black boys. So he goes on, he says- Hang on a sec, turn that round. What? That looks exactly like my bathroom. Is this you? Who the fuck, who's Lizzie with? Is, 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 is that why you, with a bottle do you, do you water think boy? Your, uh, your, your recycling bin's full all the time and you've no idea why? I wonder why it sounds like You drink a lot of water. It sounds like a ball pool in there. Yeah. <laughs> bottles popping about. John claims that switching to bottled water has curbed his anxiety, migraines, and eczema. John buys bottled water from his local co op to wash with and drink. Do you know the fucking audacity? To if you two things one huge waste of plastic water everything no matter what 100%. but the sheer gumption spunk that you must have to buy your bottled water from co-op arguably the most expensive of the common high street stores as what? if you're not getting it from Asda or Costco or something like that you're getting it from co-op <laughs> the same place where it costs four pound twenty for a little pack of chicken breasts yeah that is obscene. This man is a dickhead. This man, guess how much he spends. Oh, no, how many litres do you think he uses a day? Well, a bath's got to be 50 litres, minimum. He uses around 30 to 40 litres a day. And he'll just heat one single kettle up of hot water to put in to make him feel comfortable. This is incredible. It costs him £360 a month, which he's working out to four grand a year. This person needs help. Don't he? Uh, and I don't mean that I, in yeah, I know what you mean. I don't mean like he needs to go to a professional. He needs someone in his immediate family or friends or, or relationship to go, John Jr., what the fuck he, what the fuck is going on here? That can't be that can't be helping him. It's no different. Yeah. It's not fixing anything. You're wasting so much plastic, so much water, so much money. That is obscene and wrong. Twelve quid a day on bottled water to bath in. That don't even seem like enough. You can't get 30 litres of water for 12 Water's quid. Water's not that much money. That, 30 litres for like, 12 quid? Yeah, yeah, but you're not buying your Evians, are you? You're, I would. You're smart. Well, I only buy in Fiji water, mate. You're buying your, you're buying your, you know, your supermarket's home. Which is probably fucking tap water. <laughs> yeah. It's probably tap water anyway. <laughs> Ethan, what do you make of this? As a man who baths, what, once every six months? Oh, last bath I must have had would have been a few years ago, I think. Yeah. Well, obviously, I, I eventually the body cleans itself, doesn't it? Is your motto? Is that true? Yeah, Ethan yeah, doesn't wash. I've got a friend who did that with his hair, and he looked like a right greasy fucker for a few weeks. But then it did come right. He was, he started cleaning himself. Um, I think there's cheaper things you can do. You can buy Sanix or E45 for his skin problems. That'll probably um, assist him. Also, how do you fill up the shower with this bottled water and stuff? Yeah, how you can't have any showers. Can I think, it? I think nailing down to it doesn't have showers. You just baths. Paths every day. Take, f the other thing is, this takes so long. Filling up a bath with bottled water has got to take minimum 15 minutes, 20 minutes before he's even got in. Yeah. This guy's spending probably an hour a day washing. Incredible. And he's saying he's cutting back, obviously, because of the cost of living crisis. Oh, fucking <laughs> love that. Some people can't afford fucking smart price fish fingers. And this dickhead's like, oh, you know what? You know the pennies are tight when you can't even fill your bath with fucking bottled water anymore. <laughs> it must be so hard, pal. Honestly, my drive that is made of licorice that I relay every day is really struggling in this summer heat. What, like, what is this whole house made out of? Uh, I'd love to see it. I'd I, absolutely love to see it. I've got some advice for him. Move to Buxton. <laughs> yeah. Right. Perfect. The tap water is just spring water. Oh, have you ever seen a Buxton? There's the... That's where... Is that Buxton, the Buxton water bottles? Yeah. Same yeah. thing. The very same. It's almost like he brought that up on purpose. <laughs> oh, Buxton also a place. I thought it was just a water company. Yeah, Buxton's a place. It's beautiful. You've never been to Buxton, Ethan. Yeah. Where, where is You've it? You've never been to Smart Water just off the AC. <laughs> <laughs> Go oh. on. Ever oh, you got this? No, don't say me. No. That is a real place. Where's the what's the green one called? Green. Ballygowan. That's the one they give you at KFC. Come on, Highland Spring. No, I've lost it. Volvic. Volvic. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, so Bo Buxton have a have a tap in the city centre. No, the, the town centre that is just constantly flowing Buxton water, <gasps> fresh Buxton water. Who's pouring and the bottle waters in at the top of the hill? People are there with buckets. Like the locals queue up on a Saturday. I don't know why a Saturday, but they queue up and they fill up big buckets and they walk it on the reds like that. And they walk, I swear on my life. I swear on my life, that's the thing. 
<laughs> it doesn't look like that. Big buckets that balance on their head. Yeah. <laughs> I've you know seen it. I've been to Buxton three times. Do you know how much water weighs? You know, obviously, it's a, every litre of water weighs one kilogram. Right. So if you take 50 litres of water, which is what you'd need to do anything with, 50 kilograms on your head. There's like a mini Ethan. That's one Ethan on your head. So <sighs> this man is is awful. Yes? There's a lot. Yeah, he needs to recycle more. He needs to do better, doesn't he? He's met, he's, and he's taking the piss with this, isn't he? So, so crazy. Unbelievable. Is there anything you do weird, washing yourself wise, cooking wise, anything around the house that you think you, you, you know, could one day become like a story in the paper? Like hmm. anything excessive, Ethan, that you do? Um, uh, <sighs> probably quite a lot of things I do, actually. Sorry, come back to us and I'll try and narrow down to one. Uh, Drew Smith. Um, anything like that? Nothing like that. What about you? Mm. Oh, no, I do actually. Go on. If I ever buy fruit, ever, no matter how much I buy, I used to test this at uni. Yeah. Because I love fruit growing up. And I thought, when I go to university, or when I move out, I, I'm going to buy as much fruit as I want. So I used to go to, go to the shop and buy a week's worth of fruit. I buy a bag of oranges, pun it of grapes, bag of apples, some blueberries, fucking tin of light cheese. Just go mad. Can I guess the end of the story? Yeah. You'd not eat any of them? No. I'd say, man. No. You, I mean, no. Oh. Not that. <laughs> 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 fucking don't eat any of it. <laughs> I eat it all the day I buy it. No matter how much fruit I buy... What? I will sit there and I will eat a bag of oranges and a punnet of grapes and a pot of fucking strawberries. Oh, I will eat all of the fruit in one, one day. day, every time. The only time I don't is bananas because there's no joy in eating eight bananas. But if I buy a bag of oranges you or a punnet of grapes, well. it's gone. Do you know what I've eaten? I've got the world record for the most bananas eaten You've in not. a minute. Yeah, Pardon? yeah. This, I set this world record when I was 17. How many did you have? Six in a minute. Fuck off. Yeah. No way you can eat six bananas in a minute. I did it. I'll find the video on YouTube and we'll put it in. I look very different. Short hair, different. This was 12 years ago. But my mate, his um, girlfriend, had, she, she was breaking up with him. And I thought I'd cheer him up by eating loads of bananas. And the world record at the time was four in a minute. Did you eat his banana? I don't, I don't know. I wanted to cheer him up, not you know, make Andre him fall in love with me. Peter Andre nearly died eating six bananas. That's not true. You have to eat like a thousand bananas. No, Peter Andre nearly died. Potassium addiction. No, addiction. addiction no. hey, Ethan, what's your story, mate? Make sure you check out the Sloppy Joe's Patreon where the top sloppers unite to get all of the best Sloppy Joe's content. What extras do you get? Great question. Extra podcasts, live podcasts, behind the scenes videos. You also get early access to all of our podcasts and the very special Sloppy Joe's feature where Joe McGrath tells you about times that he has pooed himself. There's another one way to describe it. He shits himself all the time. If you want to be the ultimate slopper, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast. As you can see there, the link is in the description for all of that extra stuff. The Slop Mamas, the Slop Daddies, the Slop Goblins, yeah? Mr. and Mrs. Slop Shop. Check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Sloppy Joe's podcast for the ultimate sloppy experience. All right, this is um, a, a, a little bit mental. So Manisha sent me this. It's a bit of an agony banter, this one in some ways, but someone's Changing basically- the format of the new pod already? Incredible. No, but it's, 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 it's still recent, I think. So someone's documented this online. So if you don't mind uh, me reading it, I'll try and be quicker than the uh, French football one that I did. Um, so it says, a little backstory. When I first started having sex- Oh dear. Oh, yep. Straight in. Straight, Straight in, in deep in. Oh. Quite literally. Um, I, I, I researched into ways to be better as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. A little stiff is, is on the right track. Yeah. Um, I read online that you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put on a better <laughs> performance. So uh, You've got to check your BPM there though, aren't yeah. you? Because if you get that wrong, imagine trying to keep up with fucking There's No Limit or something. <laughs> Too Unlimited. <laughs> You'd be knackered after 12 <laughs> seconds, wouldn't you? It's easier to keep the rhythm if you put on an old blues track from the 50s. Anyone can keep up with that. Go on, Ethan. Well, ba basically, Drew, what happens oh, is man. that he adds this um, specific song to his playlist, and mm. he uses this song um, in, in, in the last couple of his relationships. But in this present one, his partner comes out and tells him, listen, I don't like it. But by this point, he's been using it for the last two years. Mm. So she's only come out now and said, I don't like it. And it completely puts me off. So now whenever 
he, so, so he's learned his rhythm to this beat, okay? Do we know the song? Or is, well, it, is it building up to it? Uh, it's building up Love to that it. bit. So um, he, he keeps, he, he's, his whole sex life is now ruined. So now they have sex and they, they don't have music at all and it's just awkward. Yeah. The whole thing is weird and it's ruined his sex life. I'll now um, play, this, play the song for you. Um, it's not a song you'll know, it's a bit bizarre, but the beat is rather interesting. I'll put it next to the microphone. Imagine this being on my What the hell? Sounds like you're going up into space. I do know this song. Boop, 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 oh, boop, boop. Yeah. Is that in it? Are we going to get copyright? Oh, absolutely, yeah, we can't play this. Or not. Like you're on some sort of like alien mouse symphony where they're all playing little meow 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 But basically his his rhythm is that is da 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 Isn't that Morse <laughs> and isn't that Morse code for help me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you like to uh, do it to Ethan? Um the Noddy theme tune. <laughs> no. beep, beep, boo, noddy, noddy. Have you ever heard of um Rap God by Eminem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> pneumatic drill, that lad. He just does Blur song too, because he's done in two minutes. Yeah, oh, I nice. love that. More of a theme tune than a song. What's your story of the week, Joe? <sighs> Man found alive at the bottom of the sea three days after his boat sank. Wow. Have you seen this? No, so this story, is, this, is like a, this is a reflective. This happened 10 years ago. Okay. But I want to bring it to on the, the on the money. I want to bring it to the table. But uh, ten years ago to the day. Oh, look, this we've been three podcasts in. You bring a crazy story about someone who has sex to a wild song. Yeah. You bring a ten year old story. Well, it's ten years old oh, to so the day. Bring it next week the Chilean miners story. Oh, what, <laughs> have you heard this? What a great the story. Miners. Ten years to the day though. That's the thing. Not this day, May twenty third. <laughs> <laughs> a man named Harrison O'Keen survived three days at the bottom of the sea in a shipwreck, right? Amazing. 29-year-old had been trapped in the freezing cold and pitch black darkness 100 feet beneath the ocean surface for 60 hours. He's believed to have been just hours from death when he was found. I want to show you this picture. There's a video. We'll put a little bit in. Okay. That's him there. Oh, the my God. Sort of tit high in water. Tit high indeed. And everyone's going, oh my God, it's incredible. Imagine how bad it would be. It's pitch black, really dark. Like just, I was I really thinking, imagine the peace and quiet. Imagine how sensational it would be. You get peace and quiet where you are, where you live. Not like that. Just the perfect darkness. How would you pass the time? I'd love that. 60 hours, I could do that without even fucking waking up. I'd sleep 30. I'd, the first 30 I'd sleep. I would love to be in pitch, no phone signal down there. You'd enjoy just like that. Oh, imagine they found me. I'd be like, just give me another few hours. Would you enjoy going to the toilet like submerged yeah. in water? I love pissing in the sea. What about plopping in the sea? I you could plop in the sea. I yeah, I had to plop in the sea once. Really? Yeah, I um, I, I didn't have the uh, c uh, the courage to try and. Um, well, I was in Turkey and the toilets were sort of like traditional toilets over there. So you got to sort of crouch and go. Mm. So there's nothing. It's just a hole in the water in the in the, in the floor. And then you get a bucket and you wipe your ass. You wipe your ass with a bucket? Yeah, there's like a little bucket and then you fill it up with a tap and you throw right. it in your ass. Crucial. For, for I was going to say, paper is far more advisable to just smearing your shit all over a bucket. So I saw it and I thought, <laughs> do I just go in the sea? Yeah. I Turtles have been doing it for what, years. What would you have done? I'd shit in the sea. I'd love to. I'd love the excuse of shitting in the sea. Because surely it clears it up, doesn't it? The salt water and that. Yeah, and also every animal that lives in the sea is shitting in the sea. Where do you think sharks do a poo? They don't sort of like get out on the tail and go to a beachside toilet, do they? Yeah, so you'd, you'd if you were down there, I'd 60 poo in hours, there. Honestly, I'd love that. But what about sleeping? You'd be. <laughs> uh, uh, 60 hours, perfect. Wouldn't sleeping or pooing? How much would you hate that? I'd hate it. I don't want to spend 60 hours alone. It's only know. three, it's, it's, it's under three days. Just what does chilling. That mean? Yeah, but over one day is a lot. No. Oh. 
Ethan, Ethan James is probably up to it because he likes just. What do you reckon? Have you been walking how would recently, you s- Ethan? Would I shit in the sea? Sorry. How oh would you God. find me underwater for, for sixty for sixty minutes. hours? How would I find you in the water? No. Oh, Sit God. again. He, you're talking over each other. Sit again, true. How would you get on being in a sunken ship for sixty hours by yourself with Joe shit next to you? Yeah. And so. actually, if we're thinking about it, probably twenty to thirty dead crewmates. Oh, how would I get? Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd just probably be horrified. To maybe have a panic attack. Maybe, maybe just try and find a way to end it on my terms. <laughs> that was bleak, wasn't it? What a bleak <laughs> thing to say. End it on my terms. <laughs> I, I, I was everyone here, even I thought one you'd survive the longest because obviously you don't like pain. No, you don't mind pain. You don't feel pain. Don't feel pain. So you stay there for as long as you want. And two, you go on long walks and just stare into nothing and just you're fine. On the treadmill. Yeah. You did that again today, didn't you? Yeah, I, I did. I introduced some music today. What did you listen to? <laughs> With a stiffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just no, no stiffy. But if you have, um, like I said, I guess that's what I said to you last time, walking on the treadmill, you kind of get used to your beat your own kind of See? thing. See? imagine, so presumably it was like like rescue people that found him. Yeah. But imagine, you know those people who search like old boats for like gold and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Or just a deep sea diver. <laughs> imagine you're just swimming on like a holiday. You know, you go to like the Great Barrier Reef, and you're just swimming, you just, oh, there's a little shipwreck here. You go in, there's and there's just fucking... Here. I've never been swimming in something. Oh, it, oh, look at that. Shipwreck look here. at that. Oh, a flounder. A clownfish. You go around a corner, he's there. Oh, <laughs> Imagine God. finding that. Right, wild. Go back up to the surface. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Does he live there? Is he okay? Imagine coming across him, you just didn't know any chance he'd be there. He'd be like, fuck off. I'm, I'm trying to have a bit of peace and quiet here. How long do you think you'd last? Oh, a day. And then I'll probably do an Ethan. Can I ask you a quick question before we go about one more news story? Oh, of course. The King's coming to Greater Manchester this week. Which King? Eric. King Charles. Oh, what Charles would you do with him? <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> in like well, how would you... Uh, what wouldn't I do with him more like? How, how would you occupy him? Oh, what do you mean, how would I occupy him? Like, what would you do with him? Come in here, he said, oh, Joe, I uh, love the pod. Do the voice. Take me out for the day. Oh, Joe. Sorry, I'm not very good at impressions. Okay. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. What would you do for with him for the day? Um, Probably go to this and that. Cause I take him for a curry. I'd take him for a curry, but a cheap one. Because I don't oh, think yeah, he's ever course. had that. He's eating... It's a big statement, that. He's never had curry. No, I don't think he's ever had a back street, down an alley, th- three rice, uh, three curries and rice for seven three pounds. Three rice? Three rice, one curry. For seven quid. He's never had that curry. Basmati, w- egg fried. I wonder if he's ever had up. I wonder if he's ever had a curry. I think he yeah, has. I think he, of course he's had curry. What if he hadn't? I think I think you'd be surprised. I think they have proper takeaway services to the- I think they've had Mackeys. Yeah. Do you think? No, he, he hadn't had a Taco Bell. No, no way. No, because Taco Bell's a bit of shit. Yeah, but you he's know definitely that a bucket. You've had it. You are. From KFC, he's had a bucket. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking about Camilla. Ethan, what would you what would you <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> that with? is sacrilege. I know, sorry, call it Camilla. What would you do with King Charles for the day, finally? Um, oh, I'd, I'd probably... I don't know, I'd just... Um, maybe go out and about, like, he's my mate. Maybe, like, I, I love Flight Club. I might take my Flight Club. And just <laughs> what, the darts? You're it's like a bar King with dart balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd, it'd just be quite, be quite cool if you just You need to going. do something with him that he's never done before. He's never been to Flight Club. Yeah, so you could, you know, like... That's true. Yeah, so, like... go kart. Yeah. He, the yeah, king's what? not going go kart. Have you seen no, his he's fingers? No, no, that, oh yeah, he can't steer a fucking go kart, can he? <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, do something he's never done before, like um, not murder his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, I was really looking for a subtle joke to finish the pod, and you just went all in. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Sloppy Joe's podcast. I uh, hope you're enjoying these final ones. That's not getting clipped. Uh, if you see King Charles, tell him to come on the pod. Joe, you legend. Thank you very much. By you the way, the these might be coming available I soon. I thought you meant the King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. I didn't know you meant the actual king. Was that, is that named after him? Got to be. Got to be. It's Ethan, not. any final words? Um, oh, what a great show. I can't wait for the next one. Just like a media train beyond belief, isn't it? It's like Joey Barton at Marseille. (laughs)
putting an accent on everything. Right, thank you very much for joining us. Get your thoughts in the comments below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and also check out the Patreon. Link is in the description for extra shows, extra podcasts, extra good stuff. Check out and become a patron. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What have you think? Obviously. Oh, uh, bye, 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 bye.